Nikon Snapbridge app. Finally, I can pull images from my Nikon camera onto my smartphone and email them to the client. Hallelujah. Good morrow, fellow photographers. I'm gonna show you how easy it is getting photos off your Nikon Z series camera using Nikon Snapbridge app. Now, if you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe to take part in the photography debate. We've got some great content for you and you won't want to miss the Nikon DSLR to mirrorless video that will be landing on the channel very soon. Now, a big, big, big bugbear of shooting Nikon in PR and product launches has been the fact that clients were continually asking for fast pictures from the shoot. Trouble was, the only way of delivering that was to fire up the laptop, get the card out of the camera, get it into the laptop, tether your phone to the laptop, email the picture out. All of this is going to take ages. In fact, it's going to take 15 minutes of your one hour booking. Now though, Nikon have given us an app, Snapbridge, and we can pull the images onto our smartphones in seconds. Now my colleague Stuart's going to show you just how easy that is to do. Okay, so I'm just going to take a picture now and just show you how uh, Nikon's Snapbridge app works. So I've got the camera all set up. I'm going to take a picture. I'm just going to have a quick look through the viewfinder. There we go. So we're all focused up. Take the shot. There we go. Another one. Great. So now I'll go into the menu. There's my picture of the sunglasses. So what I'm going to do, I'm just quickly, this is a quite a good tip, is just turn your camera off first and go to snap bridge. There we go. Right, and now turn your phone off, camera on. So it obviously looks for the camera a bit quicker than we are in and we're locked. We've got the little Bluetooth solid on there and it's solid on there. So we know we're now connected via Bluetooth. So I'm going to go to the playback menu again. I'm going to press the info button and I've already got it set up to select to send to smart device. And I press OK and then I get a little ziggy zaggy arrow on there that basically now says it's going. And if you look at there, we have got a little transitional graphic and the Bluetooth has flashed. And if I go into there, there are the glasses. Now, I can send from here, from the app, out. And if I'm going to airdrop it to somebody, I can't find anybody at the moment, or I can, I'll, I'll email it to Phil. So there you go. Uh, it comes up, and we just call that a test. Uh, okay, that's done. And then we want to send. And we've got the actual different sizes. Now this is a different, through the Snapbridge app itself, it's quite low res. So we'll send the actual size and there it is, it's gone. But now this is a good thing. If you go back to the camera, if I actually want to download the picture in its full thing, I need to enable the Wi-Fi on the camera. Okay, so I'm going to do that. Wi-Fi, connecting to camera, join Snapbridge. Starting camera Wi-Fi, that's good. There it is, connected. And now, I've got the sunglasses come up. I think that was the first picture we took. And now it gives me an option now that I'm actually in the hard sort of soft, the, you know, the depths of the software itself. So I've got download. Now, this is a good feature that you can download a two megapixel one, which is more capable, you know, more than happy for social media, Twitter, stuff like that. And obviously it's a lot quicker or you can download the original format. So I'm going to download the original format one, which is obviously big, you know, big file. And that's how quick it goes. That has now saved to my camera roll. So I can look into my camera roll and there it is. There you go. So there's the actual image itself. And again, you know, everybody knows how to send stuff. You know, again, we'll send that to Phil. So he's got it, test two, and we'll send that to him. 
and we'll send it the actual file size itself which is 5.6 meg and there it is it's gone simple as that so there you have it the downside is that it doesn't work with all Nikons the Z series and most of the cool pick series can use the app as well as later DSLRs I'll put a list of compatible cameras in the description but if you can use it then this is one small change that will have a massive impact on your photography.